What's up? This is Crypto Cash Camp. This is where we talk about making passive income in the DeFi crypto space. And right now, I'm helping a thousand people make 50 bucks a day in passive income. And we have a lot of different videos, but right now it's an important time because it's a big time you can lose money. Uh, market's tanking, and it could be the start of a bear market. Um, just because maybe Harmony, Luna has been running up, Polygon has run, been running up, doesn't mean that we're still in an altcoin season. We could be. But let's just be a little cautious. And I think part of anyone's strategy is to have stable coins so you can buy the dip. And I wouldn't say this is the biggest dip time. I think there's more of a dip to come. And why not have your stables making you some money? So the goal of this video is to show you how to farm stable coins, how to find which chains to farm on, what are the best rates, what are the best stable coins to use. And I'm gonna bring this or break this down into a full guide on how I do it because there are so many options, so many chains, and so many different exchanges to stake uh, your stables. So let's jump into this. So we see the market is tanking and some coins, oh, Avalanche dropped 20%. Luna's down at 70. So you're seeing that everything that really pumped up, like just for example, Luna was pumping when everything was falling. Uh, let's look at this. So everything was falling, 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 and Luna started pumping, 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 got up to almost 100 bucks, hit the ceiling, and then started falling. And, and this is what a lot of things are doing. Yeah, they can bounce back, but we do not know how long uh, that will be. So I made a spreadsheet, which I'm gonna actually share with this, uh, uh, in the description and it shows the different chains and the actual uh, APRs you're getting on different stable coins. So I went through uh, this site, Beefy Finance, and what Beefy Finance is, is it aggregates all these different uh, decentralized exchanges and it does this thing where it auto compounds and invests whatever you gain back into the protocol so you get an APY rather than an APR. So you stake it once and it keeps growing, 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 growing. Really cool thing, and if you can find some big gains here, that means you just set it and forget it, and you don't have to worry about it. So this is what I got so far. So I'm gonna show you on Beefy, and then we'll go over the doc. So let's just go to actually, one of the ones I was surprised that had the most uh, options was uh, Phantom. And you know, I always recommend using a ledger, just because if you're logging into different decentralized exchanges, you don't even need to have it plugged in. You just need to have your ledger here. I have my ledger, it's not plugged in. You need to plug it in when you're doing a transaction. So let's just connect to Phantom, do it. And uh, make sure to like this video um, and hit the subscribe button if you wanna make more passive income in the DeFi space. I just study this all day and make videos about every, every day, five days a week. So if you're into it, please like the video and subscribe, hit the notifications bell and you'll hear what's coming out exactly when I release it. All right, so we're on the Phantom Network and you see it has 116 faults or 116 different liquidity pairs. So what that means is you, you supply one coin and then another coin. So this is TUM or T-Share in Phantom. Um, and these are all kind of, you know, at the top you get the highest APR, so I sort by APY. And you're getting some coins you don't know about when you go way up here. But as you start going down, here's three coins, it's Solana, USDC and Phantom paying out 200%. So I mean, if you already have those coins, not a bad place to park them if you're gonna hold them and make 200% on your money. There's a bit of an issue on impermanent loss, but I mean, if you're gonna hold it anyways, 200% probably outweighs the impermanent loss that you can get. But let's look for stables, because that's what we're going after. All right, so we keep going down, and stables are always on the lower end. Very rarely will you find stable coins that you're gonna make over 100 APY. Sometimes on these they have um, different coins, like I've seen the Swiss franc, the Japanese yen. You can stake these. Uh, I don't exactly know where you can buy these stable coins in other currencies, but um, there'll be an explainer if you can find them. So this is Dai uh, Phantom, and yes, if you have Phantom, you can pair it with Dai. But right now we're just looking to stake stables, have rock solid like positive cash flow coming in and not have to worry about phantom going down. So we don't want to stake phantom in a stable. So let's keep going, keep going, keep going. And you're seeing the APR, APYs are going down. All right. So as we get lower and lower, we're going to notice that, okay, we have some stables popping up, Bitcoin and USDC. 
we have MIM. Oh, here we go. My is actually a stable coin, and uh, it's paired with USDC, and it's at 33.2%. So many of you don't know what MI is, so I'm going to go to Coin Market Cap. We're going to go to MI. And what it is, is it's not as stable as a lot of the others, but I mean it's within two cents usually. So we'll go to one year. How long has its track record been? Year to date. Let's go to all time. It's gone for the last, you know, eight months. And it's gone one dollar, one dollar, one cent, minus one cent, plus one cent, minus. So it's pretty darn stable. Uh, I, I don't know its tokenomics. I'd look into it. But it looks like a, an, an opportunity if you look into that one a little bit more. So I'm seeing that one at 33%. You can mix all three of them, USDC, DAI, and um, MI for 33%. And this is even a little bit more stable. So you got MIM, USDC, and T for 25 So this is where I look about it. Yeah, I'm not going to go through all of these. It's all consolidated on the sheet. So you'll see probably the best rate of return right here is uh, you know, it's 33, 34% with this mix. And that seems pretty cool. This is also very interesting, but I haven't quite figured out um, how to get, oh, what is J, JPY? So this is Japanese yen versus Japanese yen, and you're making 76%. Um, so I think that's something to look into. Here's the link to BB Finance. It's in Matic. And this is Cello. I don't use this chain, but I did see this 35% on a reputable exchange, Sushi. Okay, so if you're going through this, you're like, you know what? I'm a little greedy. I want, I want more. And I totally get that because I'm like, uh, I want to be making, you know, more than 30% if I'm staking stables. Why not? I mean, if there's more to be made, why not take it? So uh, what we do is we go to DeFi Llama. And DeFi Llama just aggregates everything. It's probably the best source of DeFi information. So you go to DeFiLlama.com. Hit the chains, and this shows you the chains. This is pretty interesting. This is Ethereum dominance, and you see February. It just Ethereum dominance goes down in the whole DeFi world, which I, I think is great because that's, that's where the future is headed. Um, so let's go down here and see. These are all sorted by uh, total locked value. Um, so if we go down to say, for example, I already did a Kronos. And what happens, for example, if you click Kronos, you get to see all the top swaps based on total locked value. So what I do is I just, you know, open the top 10 of them. You know, for example, I click on this and go down to website and open that. And I will then be able to look at the yields on each of the main like blue chip exchanges of that chain. So not only is there beefy finance that aggregates it, you're being a little lazy just following them. This is where you actually get the boots on the ground work to find out what are the best yields for your stables. So I opened the top 10 on um, Kronos Chain. And right now, I'm actually going to go in and uh, show you what I found. So here's just the top 10 on Kronos. Some of these are not exchanges. This beefy again, auto farm is the same as beefy. It just is an auto compounder. But let's look into this. So here we go. Okay, so I'm seeing you know USDC and T. This is VVS. This is their big exchange. You're paying 12%. That's pennies. We we need something better than that. Uh, this is like Ave for uh, Kronos chain. It's called Tectonic. So if you bought, you know, if you're actually gonna get Dai, you're gonna deposit Dai. You're gonna get seven plus seven. So you're probably gonna get 14%. And then if you borrow, you're getting nothing, but you can loop it back in and get another 14%. So potentially you could buy die, uh, get 14%, and then get another 7% on top of that. So you get 21% uh, if you borrow and then loop it back into the supply. A little complicated, and there's a little bit of risk that goes into that. So let's just find the easy way. Okay, I found this one. I still need to dig into this one because you want to really check out these, see if they've been vetted, if they have, um, you know, if they've actually been, you know, dexed or if they have any sort of rug doc certification or uh, certex. So I'm seeing this one and this is an auto liquidity pool of 61% for USDCT. So this looks pretty good. I, I'm going to have to look into this one. And this is Kronos. I have, I have some stables over here. So I'm looking in this chain. 
and then we just start going down. I'm seeing USDCT for 16%, 19% for DAI USDC, 21% for my USDC. Anything else? Oh, here we go. 28% for MIM, Magic Internet Money, and USDC. I know you guys may not know all the stables, so I'm just kind of repeating them. My, MIM, USDC, T, uh, uh, DAI. So, you know, you'll kind of just type in what are the main stable coins, and you can see that pretty easily on coin market cap. We'll go over here, and let me get to categories, to stable coins. And you'll see the main stable coins right here. Um, yeah, so these are the main stable coins that are available. So always look for these logos when you're looking around. All right, so, okay, we're seeing 28% there. Annex, what do we got here? Okay, so we're in the farms. I'm on the Binance chain. Let's get to the Kronos chain. Uh oh. So we're gonna let that load, and then we're gonna see if, is there some, I think I saw something good here. Okay, 23% for DAI USDC. 25% uh, for USDCT. So we're getting to this. So you, you know the outline. So pretty much you start at Beefy Finance, and what's cool is you can do all of these different chains. And these are all EVM compatible. Meaning, if you actually want to add this to your, these are all farmable through the MetaMask. And remember, if you haven't added any of these chains to your MetaMask, all you have to do is click on it. I'm trying to think of one I haven't clicked on. Fuse. So you click on this. I don't have Fuse. I click on MetaMask. Switch to Fuse Network. Um, and then it add, you add this side to your MetaMask. So it adds all the RPC and all this stuff. You click Approve. It's legit. It's beefy finance, big guy. Um, and then we're seeing, oh man. Um, Fuse looks like a new one, but uh, you know, sometimes these new chains with very little liquidity, like not even a million on any of these, which is a little concerning, but uh, you know, if you like Fuse and you like USDC, 500% is not bad, but we're just going for all stables, so don't get sidetracked, and that's what you can easily do. Okay, so here's the thing. You want to make you want to stabilize your position. I think every portfolio, especially in a bearish time, should have a certain allocation, 20, 30, 40, 50% in stables. And look, stables aren't losing you money, they can be making you money. Um, so find your way of doing this. And remember, one of the other steps to this is bridging from one uh, chain to another. And if you have stables on Coinbase or on you know, Binance, always send over Avalanche over to your MetaMask because it lands into the actual Avalanche wallet. Um, it doesn't land into ERC. Pretty much if you send Polygon from Coinbase, it goes into Ethereum and then it just is expensive and a mess. So um, just know that, where's Avalanche? That Avalanche will always receive your sending uh, because remember you're sending to a 0x address, which is an EVM compatible address, the one address that accepts all these coins, uh, including Ethereum. So yeah, send over Avalanche and then start bridging. Um, when you're gonna bridge, I would start with Xpollinate, go over to Synapse Protocol, and then if you ever need to make a swap, um, this helps. Uh, I would just go to this website called Open Ocean open ocean finance it just pretty much bridges between all chains and we'll just start trading and it just uh, sure and then you can choose your different chain and you can switch from pretty much any coin to any coin on all these different chains so I would use this one so let me just throw this in the dock so you have it so yeah this is what you need to do Take a look at any of these. Sometimes these change. I don't have uh, these percentages auto-updated, but you can always go to Beefy Finance and check it out for yourself. Um, and remember, if you want to make more passive income in the DeFi say, space, consider subscribing. Um, I'm making videos five days a week um, on passive income and what are the hot projects coming up. And protect yourself from bear market. You know, Do the right thing and don't lose all your crypto bags uh, just for this big dip. All right? 
thanks a lot and I will talk to you guys soon and if you want to reach out to me hit me up on Twitter um, at crypto cash camp it'll be in the description so will this document that you see right here all right talk to you soon this is crypto cash camp